Hi, welcome to Nourishable. I'm Dr. Lara. In this mini lecture, we're going to go over the neurobiology of food intake and learn about how signals from the periphery are integrated into the brain. So when we're talking about food intake, we can divide it into two categories. In one category, there's the short-term regulation of food take, that's food intake. So that's really looking at meal to meal. And then there's also long ter longer term regulation of food intake, which is going to be looking at a longer term measure of our energy stores in our body. So first we're gonna talk about some short term regulation of food intake and regulation that happens at the level of the hind brain. So I've introduced you to the uh, particular nucleus within the hindbrain called the nucleus tractus solitarius. We're going to abbreviate this as NTS. So the NTS is a nucleus within the hindbrain. When neurons of the NTS are stimulated, they are going to inhibit food intake. So stimulation of the NTS initiates satiety. So that is the NTS, um, stimulating the NTS initiates satiety. Now, one of the ways that the NTS is stimulated is by the vagus nerve. I've introduced you to the vagus nerve. It is a very giant nerve that uh, leaves the brain and innervates many different organs all throughout the body. And the vagus nerve has traffic that is leaving the brain going out to the organs. And then the vagus nerve also carries lots of afferent traffic, um, signals coming from the periphery and going back up into the brain. So when we're talking about the NTS, the NTS is going to be receiving afferent signals from the periphery through the vagus to stimulate the NTS. So when the vagus nerve activates the NTS, that will initiate satiety. So the, when we're talking about how these afferent signals from the vagus nerve are stimulated, it's through two different categories of receptors. So the vagus nerve afferents, they have two different kinds of receptors on them. One category are called mechanoreceptors and the other category are called chemoreceptors. So the mechanoreceptors, they're going to be responding to mechanical stimuli. In particular, they're gonna be responding to stretch. So there are vagal afferents, there are dendrites of the vagus nerve that are lining the GI tract and the mechanoreceptors on the vagus nerve can sense when the, when the GI tract gets stretched. When does it get stretched? When we're, eat, when we're digesting a meal. So the distension that happens in the stomach and in the intestines when we are digesting a meal will cause the intestines to stretch. That is gonna stimulate the mechanoreceptors on the vagus nerve. When those mechanoreceptors are stimulated, the vagus nerve will send signals up through the nucleus, up to the nucleus tractus solitarius and stimulate the NTS to induce satiety. And that kind of makes sense in that when we're having stretch within the GI tract, that means that we're digesting food. We don't need to be eating more food because we have, we have calories coming in. So we can then initiate satiety. So that's the mechanoreceptors. Um, and so this is gonna be a level of regulation that is in the short term, you know, meal to meal. Um, so stretching of the GI tract is going to stimulate afferent signals from the vagus nerve to travel up to the nucleus tract tractus solitarius to stimulate satiety, part of our short term meal to meal regulation.